back. Let's just clap back and forth. Hey, you guys are amaze balls, all of you. Thank you so much. It's been a really, really fun weekend. And even with us all like 24 hours in some weird headspace of timing and jet lag madness, time, space, quantum, something crazy, still loving every second of it. So thank you. And that's all of your energy. Everybody is just really warm and open and kind. And I'm gonna cry. Okay. No crying, no. You're not starting it that way. Tell us what's been happening in Perth. Uh, well, everyone says, so how do you like Perth? Well, well, this is a beautiful building. <laughs> really love the lights, the way they've chosen to hung them and hung them, hang them. You're gonna have to excuse my lack of sentence structure. I am again blaming that time space jet lag thing. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen anything yet of Perth. All I know about Perth is the people are pretty rad. And sadly, I have to leave on Tuesday because I gotta go to Melbourne to see some family, but I'm gonna take Monday and try to jam pack it. I'm gonna try to squash Perth into 12 hours and see as much as I can in 12 hours. So any suggestions, you guys, you know, shout them out. And what's been happening in the convention? What have been some highlights? Ah, oh, well, what have been some highlights? I mean, it's really just, I love these because it is the relationship with the audience, which we don't get to have on television. And I, and I come from theater, so I'm used to knowing the audience, and I'm used to having a dialogue with them. Even if it isn't with words, it's an energetic dialogue, because they, they change the show every night. So here, meeting you guys, is amazing. I've been to Australia six, seven times because of Stargate over the last nine years, and I've never made it to Perth. So it's been really cool just to get a sense of what this part of Australia is. And it seems you guys are just a little bit more chill. There's just a little bit, right? Everyone's got a bit more elbow room. Everyone's a little bit more comfortable in their own skin. It's very, it's very great. And some fabulous cosplay. Some really great wigs. Where's my purple friend? Is my purple friend here? No. Oh, wow. There's a great purple lady out there. So how many people were here yesterday just to get a gauge? All right, well, oh, you were, shoot, you so were, I can't repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Let's roll with it. Roll, roll with it. They must have lots and lots of questions because they, they know you now. So, good. Yeah. So, you were saying yesterday a lot about Shakespeare. It seems to be, like, a huge part of who you are. Like, is the, do you have a favorite Shakespearean play? Like, maybe one that you've been in? Um, I've got a lot of favorites. Yeah, Shakespeare's kind of the reason I'm an actor. And I... I mean, I became a, an actor, really, actually, Patti Smith. Does anybody know Patti Smith? The singer, poet, extraordinaire. She kind of got me, I was like a high school dropout. I was sort of a little bit bored with the world and was too cool for school and that kind of stupid stupidity. Um, and I heard this woman's music and she was referencing all these poets and she was so literate that I wanted to understand what she was thinking about, so I started reading poetry and reading um, plays, and so through her, I sort of got into Shakespeare, and then I went back to school. I wanted to study language, I wanted to study um, theater, so it was kind of a roundabout thing. But Shakespeare, yeah, I think he's punk rock. I think if he was writing now, he'd be writing for sci-fi, or he'd be writing so